Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, as well as the Hapal Gaming Zone, the official gaming channel of Hapal Computer Works. And as you can see, I have a lot of new equipment right here in front of me because I am doing a setup video, and that setup video is for this special device right here, the Hapog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition, model 1488, just released this week. I'm excited to help you understand how to set this device up properly. So, the Hapog HD PVR2 has a lot of great features, which you can see in my full review, which will be coming soon. Uh, but it's important that we know how to hook the device up properly. And so, I have a PlayStation 3 here, have an Xbox 360 here, have the, obviously the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition, model 1488 from Hapog. I have the back of my LCD TV here with all my inputs, as well as a laptop tower, or not a laptop, a desktop tower, I'm sorry. I am smarter than that, I promise, that I use for uh, doing a lot of my HD recording. And so, I'm going to show you how to get all these things working together quickly and easily thanks to the Hapog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. And let's go ahead and get started. The very first cord that I have here is one of the two included HDMI cords that comes with the Hapog device. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and take my Xbox 360. I'm going to plug in one end of the HDMI cable, pretty obvious, to the 360. I'm going to set that back down. The other end of the HDMI cable I'm going to take and go right into the HDMI input on my Hapog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. The next thing I'm going to do is take the other HDMI cable that's included, very high quality cables included from Hapog here. I'm going to first plug that into the HDMI output on my HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. I'm going to take the other end of that HDMI port or plug and I'm going to go right into my LCD TV into the HDMI one port. So I have the Xbox 360 already hooked up properly to the HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition thanks to the HDMI input and output on the new Hapog device. Now let's get the PlayStation 3 up and running. As you know, the PlayStation 3 cannot have video captured from an HDMI cord, so Hapog has a workaround for that in favor of this little cable here with a special AV input. So Hapog is nice enough to include, sorry for the cords bouncing around in your ear, a brand new high quality component cable for your PS3 as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the one end of that component cable and plug it into the AV output on my PS3. I'm going to take the other end of the component cables from the PS3, make sure I have them organized correctly. They're going to be split up nicely, the two audio, and then the three video, the green, the blue, and the red. I'm going to also take my brand new dongle here from Hapog. I'm going to take the two audio, which are taped together, as you can see. Thank you, Hapog, for doing that. I'm going to plug in the two audio from the PlayStation component cable. Then I'm going to match up the other three remaining ports and plug them in together. Red, blue, and green. And as you can see, I have a nice secured component cable from the PS3 component cable to the HD PVR2 dongle that is included. I'm going to take that and plug that right into this brand new port. You might be able to see it well on the camera or not from, H from Hapog and it's the AVN made especially for the PlayStation 3 but can be used with any component device as well. Let me go ahead and plug this in. There we go and it snaps right into place and holds really sturdy. There's actually a push button release on it. So it snaps in, you can't just yank it out, which is really nice. And we have the PlayStation 3 connected well to the device. 
Now, the last two cables we need to get this up and running are the USB cable, which is included by Hapog. Thank you so much, Hapog, for including that. I'm going to take kind of the fat end here. Looks like a printer USB cable. We're going to plug that in to the back of the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. And then we're going to take the other USB in, the standard end, and plug that right into our PC here. We have that secured into the PC. So the device is now ready for capture. The last piece we have is the AC power adapter. So I'm going to take it, and it's the last open port on the back of my POG. Plug it right into there. Take the other end and plug it into the floor plug, which you can't see here. Now we have the HD PBR2 Gaming Edition set up properly, all ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. We have our Xbox 360 hooked up with HDMI just for a recap. PS3 hooked up with Component into the special AVN dongle. We have the USB port going from the HIPOG device to the computer for capture. And then we have the power cable going to the floor for the outlet, which is where mine is. It might not be where yours is. And then the last thing is we have the HDMI output going from the HIPOG device to the TV. Please let me know if you have any questions on how to set this device up in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Classic League Gaming as well as the Hapog Gaming Zone, the official gaming channel of Hapog Computer Works. Have a great day.